Hi everybody, welcome to our grooming channel. My name is Melanie Newman and this is Kiki the Toy Poodle. And in today's grooming session, I'm going to share with you guys how to scissor a donut muzzle. So stay tuned. The equipment we are using in today's grooming session is, I have a fine tooth comb, flexi slicker, P&W blacksmith curves, 7.5, P&W Spartans, 7.5, 28 tooth. P&W Spartan, 7.5, 65 tooth. Groom Tech Taurus, 8 inch. Relax Coat Conditioning Spray. Kiki is washed and dried in the Relax Collection and her muzzle is all groomed out so there is no knots. I'm going to begin by removing the hair in front of her eyes. So using my fine tooth comb, I'm gently going to pick up that hair in front of her eyes. So in the inner corner of her eyes. Using my thinners, these are the Spartans 65 tooth. I'm coming up into the inner corner of Kiki's eye and just removing the hair in front of her eyes. The reason I don't clip this hair is because she can get a little bit of irritation in front of her eyes from the clippers, so I prefer to just use my thinners. And I'm going up against the direction of the coat lay. So this will take it a little bit shorter than if I go with. And her other eye, so coming up against the direction of the coat growth. So just taking that nice and short and getting it as neat as possible. So now I'm using my thinners in her stop area. So her stop area is the area in between the inner corner of her eyes. I have pre-clipped up to her jawline. So right up to her jawline. Using my fine tooth comb, I'm just going to comb everything downwards on her muzzle. If we visualize a line from the outer corner of Kiki's eye and coming around her jawline, this is where we are actually going to scissor to. Using my PNW curves, I'm going to scissor to the outer corner of Kiki's eye. and following that underneath her jawline. And her other side. going to gently lift her head upwards and scissor around her jawline quite short because what actually happens is when she puts her head in her natural position all this hair looks longer because her skin is a little bit looser so I actually want to take this a little bit shorter around that jawline so it's nice and clean so we've got a really clean throat area
and always using our comb to comb everything out making sure we haven't missed anything once we have determined the length of the muzzle so the amount of hair that we would like to keep on our dog's muzzle i like to make sure we have an even amount of hair on each side so this side of the muzzle is even to this side i prefer to take hair from the back of our dog's muzzle so in front of our dog's eyes before i trim the front of our muzzle. So I prefer to come in and come around using my curve still and just keep combing and just take this nice and short because I want her to appear like she has a really short muzzle. So if I start taking hair off the front, then I start to take off behind, she won't have any hair left here and we need as much hair as we can on the top of her nose area because this is going to create the illusion of a shorter nose. So I prefer to do all my shaping from the back area, so in front of that eye. And our other side, so I'm coming in in front of her eye and just shaping her muzzle. Once I've scissored in front of her eye area, so at the back of her muzzle, I'm now going to comb out with my fine tooth comb all her little whiskers and using my straights and just scissor along that lip line. And then comb everything out in front of her nose and then scissor to her nose. So we're scissoring off all those little fine hairs. And then combing everything upwards and just tipping the hair on the muzzle. So we're just wanting to round everything in just by tipping the hair. So we're not taking too much length off because we've already determined that length. We just want to tip that hair just so we get that nice round appearance. And remembering that we want nice even from one side to the other side. And I'm just coming behind that muzzle again, just to neaten up all those little hairs. Scissoring up towards that eye area and remembering our line from the corner of our eye to our jawline. So we're taking that nice and short. And using our comb to comb everything out and just tidying up that jawline. The key to scissoring a round muzzle or scissoring a donut muzzle is to scissor small amounts at a time. So we're just tipping the area just to shape and get that round appearance. I'm just coming at the back of her muzzle here. Nice and short under that eye area. If you felt confident enough to clip that area, you could clip that area. I just prefer to scissor it. I just feel like it just gives that softer appearance. And 
scissoring behind the muzzle so we're building that muzzle up. Nice and short up to that eye area. Combing up her little whiskers, just tipping off in front of her muzzle. I'm using my 65 tooth thinners and I'm using them in the direction of how the hair falls or how the hair grows because I want, to, I want to create a nice smooth finish. If I start coming up against the direction, I'm going to take off too much and I just want to create a nice smooth finish. Once I come up into the coat, it does start to cut the length of the hair. So if I do want to cut off any length, I'm going to cut up against the direction of that hair growth. But if I'm wanting to smooth off any edges, I'm going to go with. And I'm not making the mistake of coming in and cutting, I'm just tipping those edges. my thinners underneath the jaw and I'm not bouncing as I use my thinners because I don't want to create any holes I want it to be nice and smooth and a beautiful crisp line I'm just going to tidy up Kiki's cords so just scissor off any little bits of loose hair and using my straights I'm going to tidy up the sides of those cords and just do one by one. I would like to bring the hair on Kiki's ears nice and short so it matches up with the hair on her cheek because I'm wanting to grow this out all together. And using my curves, I'm just going to come across and snip that hair off. So, nice and short. Just check where her ear leather is. So I could probably go a little bit shorter. And just bring it in line with the hair on her cheek. I'm using my PNW Spartan blender. So these are a 28 tooth. And I'm just going to blend in the cheek hair into her ear hair. rounding up into that ear so we don't have a sharp line I want a nice round ear
keep finishing off with our thinners. Until we get that nice plush finish. I hope you guys enjoyed today's grooming tutorial. I know that Kiki did because she had a lot of hair on that muzzle. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below and we will definitely get back to you. Thank you for watching and happy grooming.